Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. The Fabulous Osborne Boys. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Self-diagnostic complete. No false sounds. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto Pax in Bello, Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key?
Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Harry's room, but it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait. Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I put Harry... Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. 
New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. you were sick. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the Labitat now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Running a sweep. Go report status.
Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Agent in Sector 3. Keep an eye out for Spider-Man. Safety's off. Get ready to fire. Okay. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. God, what are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Wow, Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh, commercial buildings. Wow, so many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. No, Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. Sable troop deployments. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Oscorp building, 
but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Dr. Str no movement from Dr. Van Adder. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti- And this must be the C team. No. Dr. Michaels was near a lot of Sable forces, but it's not an Oscorp facility. Good old Alpha team. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's- Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. Oscorp's going all in on defense. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or- None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. No, Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shop. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. A records facility could be perf- Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. GR-27, that's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it! Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it! Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27, Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Clear. Me 
need to clear that balcony. You're amazing. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world, they can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. our power grid. The vulture raining death from above. Spider-Man egging them both on in the very heart of our city, brawling like children. Lethal children, pitching a tantrum of death and destruction. I'm often asked, why do menaces like this end up with awesome powers? Why not someone like you, Jonah? <laughs> well, I have considered trying to use advanced science to give me powers, only so I could protect you in a more hands-on way, of course. But after much reflection, I've decided against it. Because power corrupts. I'm a man of the people, and I want to stay one of the hard-working, ordinary people of New York. So I'll just help via my talk show, my publishing empire, and my vast personal fortune. No...
have to take care of these demons before I can follow Lee into the lab. Time to KO those snipers. 